Fear. It's a tool they've always used, right? Scare you into supporting completely irrational, expensive laws with catchy names and polarizing racist images of black and brown folks. Using language like predators, thugs, thieves, criminals, gangs. For years, police and prosecutors and politicians have constantly tried this barrage of scare tactics to get us to believe that we can somehow jail our way to safety. We believe them, but we're beginning to see behind the curtain. 2.3 million incarcerated, 180 billion taxpayer dollars annually. Family separation, millions of families torn apart. That means children left without their parents. And that's 500,000 human beings jailed, pre-trial, presumed innocent, locked up on cash bail solely because they are too poor to buy their freedom. Well, that literally kills. Ask Khalif Browder, Sandra Bland, thousands before and since. Greater harshness hasn't made us any safer, but statistically it's actually increased the likelihood of rearrest. Further pressuring impoverished communities, fostering feelings of imprisonment in their own neighborhoods. So we were able to do all of this because we fell for their fear. You see, we assumed that it was rooted in truth, not some racist tradition. We demanded that our leaders act on facts, not fear. And things are finally changing. New York lawmakers and Governor Cuomo ended cash bail for most low-level crimes, misdemeanors and nonviolent felonies. It's common sense. We already know that community investment, treatment, living wages, affordable housing, all these things are better for public health and safety than jail. We know that from rigorous studies, but we also know that from experience. So guess who's scared now? They are. So they're using fear again. The very same tactics that enabled mass incarceration are being used to perpetuate it. And now, of course, they're doubling down because our campaign of truth is winning. These reforms will keep families together and less desperate. Lives and money saved, the public made safer as a result. Now one thing I do know, truth is greater than fear. So as they continue to peddle us fear, let us have some patience, some creative thinking for change. Otherwise, nothing ever will. And honestly, that's probably the scariest thing of all. Take a second to go to justicenotfear.org and join me and others in exposing the truth about mass incarceration.